In order to graduate, students in these grades will need to earn a 25.5 total credits. Of those 25.5 credits, you will need to earn the following number of credits in the following core areas. English, 4 credits. You will need to take 1 per year. Social Studies, 3.5 credits. You're required to take or have taken the following. World History in 9th grade, U.S. or AP U.S. History in 10th grade, American Government or AP Government and Economics or AP Macroeconomics in 11th grade. World Studies, or AP Human Geography, in 12th grade. For math, you need three credits. You're required to take or have taken the following. Geometry, Algebra 2, one additional credit beyond Algebra 2. It is recommended that all students complete four years of math. Science, you need three credits. You're required to take or have taken the following. Physics, or Physics X, Chemistry, or Chemistry X, Biology, or AP Biology. It is recommended that all students complete a fourth year of science. Two credits of a world language, two credits of personal wellness, which will be a semester-long class at each grade level. One credit of fine arts, which can be included in music. 0.5 credit of a capstone course, which students will take either their junior or senior years. By completing the graduation requirements in the core areas, students will earn 19 credits. The remaining credits you earn will count as electives. When you add the core and elective credits, you will need to have earned a total of 25.5 credits. In addition to the credits, students must pass three MCA2 graduation tests administered by the state of Minnesota. Those tests are reading, writing, and math. A capstone is a course that you choose because it's already a special interest for you. In this class, you will have the chance to help determine specific topics to study or investigate. You will also take an active part in deciding how to proceed with your topic and how to present the information. This is your chance to develop a proposal, follow a process, develop a product, and make some type of presentation about something important to you. A capstone is the result of a series of classes in which you gradually increase your learning with a specific focus. You must have a sequence of an introductory class, an intermediate class, and then a capstone class, all in the same academic area. It's important that you understand which prerequisites are necessary before you can take your capstone. The registration manual clearly shows which prerequisite classes will lead to the various capstone options. Capstone will be what you make it. You will develop a proposal, follow a process, develop a product, and make some kind of public presentation. Some of the examples of what you may do are internships, mentoring, research, developing a product, publishing, demonstrations, exhibits, and presenting real solutions for community and global problems. The idea you plan, organize, implement, and then present is a required part of the capstone course. It will be a major portion of the class. All students are required to complete at least one half credit capstone course in order to graduate. For capstone courses that are year-long classes, the capstone will be met in the second semester of the course. Some students will have more than one capstone course. Please keep in mind that every capstone course involves a major plan or project to be completed. Everyone taking the capstone course must complete all requirements for the course, including the major project. Because these capstone requirements involve a great deal of thought, commitment, and time, you will want to carefully schedule your classes. Just because you can take four or five capstone classes doesn't mean that you have the time or resources to do all of them in one semester. To best prepare you for a post-high school program, it is recommended that you take the following number of credits over a four-year high school career. Four credits of English, four credits of mathematics, three credits of social studies, four credits of science. Keep in mind that more colleges would like to see a student take physics. Two credits of world languages of the same language and one credit of arts. Please open your registration book to page four. In order to successfully register for classes, it will be important for you to understand the layout of course information. On page 44, you will see the art classes that are offered by the art department. 
All departments are listed in alphabetical order. Look at the course Ceramics 1. You can see that Ceramics 1 does not have a prerequisite in order to take that class. Some classes will have a prerequisite. If a prerequisite is required, you must have taken and passed the prerequisite in order to take the class. You also see that Ceramics 1 meets the requirement for Fine Arts. Be sure to look to see if the course you would like to register for meets any graduation requirements. Each course is worth 0.5 or 1 full credit. You can determine how much a course is worth by looking the amount of credit the class is along with the length of the course. In the example of the Ceramics 1, it is a 0.5 credit course that lasts one semester. That totals 0.5 credits for the class. If a 0.5 credit class is for two semesters, it will be worth one credit. All of you will be registering for seven credits for next year. Each class will have different requirements based on what year in high school they are. If you will be a senior, you will need to register for at least one credit of English 12. For some, that will be an AP class. For others, it will be English 12. You will also need to register for one credit of Social Studies. Seniors must also register for Personal Wellness 12. Most juniors will have met their math and science requirements as they head into their senior year. It is highly recommended for all students that they take a math and science class in each of their four years of high school. We hope that all of you speak with your current teachers for advice on your next year's math and science classes. It is possible that some of you will be required to take a math, science, or other class to meet the graduation requirements. If you have any questions about what you should be registering for, you should meet with your counselors as soon as you can to determine the proper registration. Juniors will need to register for at least one credit of English 11. For some, that will mean AP class or an MSU English. For others, it will be English 11. Students will also need to register for one credit of Social Studies. You will also need to register for one credit of Biology. Whether you choose to take the course as AP or regular will be up to you. Again, it is advised that you speak with your current teachers, counselors, and parents or friends for recommendations. They will have a perspective that will help you make your decision. You must also register for a .5 credit of Personal Wellness 11. It is also suggested that you speak with your current math teachers to help determine the class for which you should register for. If you have not completed at least one credit of a world language, you must register for a world language course next year in order to have time to complete the two-year graduation requirement. If you have not yet started meeting your fine art requirement for graduation, you should consider registering for a visual or performance art class as well. Sophomores will need to register for at least one credit of English 10. All students will also need to register for one credit of Social Studies. Students must register for either regular U.S. History or AP U.S. History. Whether you choose to take those AP or regular will be up to you. It is advised that you speak with your current teachers, counselors, parents, and friends for recommendations. They may have a perspective that will help you make your decision. For math, if you're currently in Algebra 1, you would register for Geometry. If you're currently in Geometry, register for Algebra 2. If you're in any other math class, speak with your current math teacher or your counselor to help determine which class is the right class for you to register for. If you have taken both Physics X and Chem X this year, you would sign up for Biology or AP Biology. Whether you choose to take the course as AP or regular will be up to you. It is advised that you speak with your current teachers, counselors, parents, and friends for recommendations. They may have a perspective that will help you with your decision. You must also sign up for Personal Wellness 10. If you're currently taking level one of a world language, be sure to register for the second level. If you do not currently have a world language on your schedule this year, please register for level one world language course. It is important to remember that two years of a single language meets the requirement and upper level world languages or additional languages count as elective courses. If you have not yet started meeting your fine art requirement for graduation, you should consider registering for a visual or performing art class. For all students, your electives should be chosen based on what your potential post-high school education might look like. Please choose these wisely based on what type of college you may like to attend after high school and what type of career you would like to choose to pursue. Speak with as many people as you can to gather information about these classes that will round out your schedule. Keep in mind when choosing all classes, the high schools build their classes for next year based on your requests. If you get a class next year that you requested during registration, it may be difficult to make changes to your schedule. 
Please read the course description and any other pieces of information that will help you make the best decision possible. Remember that during registration you are making a request for a potential schedule. We cannot guarantee that you will get all the classes you request. Listing alternatives is an important part of registration in case we are unable to get you into all your desired classes. Even then, we cannot guarantee all students all of their requests. Students who plan on taking PSEO classes, teacher's aid, or independent study as part of their junior or senior years must still register for a full schedule and then meet with their counselor before the end of the school year. If you want to be a student aide during your senior year, you should register for a full schedule and you will need to pick up a student aide request form in August before you start your senior year. All students will be registering online through the student portal. After logging onto Student Portal, click on the registration link located under your name. This will bring you to a screen where you can begin the registration process. Anything indicated within the required courses is something that was pre-registered for you. These cannot be changed. Not all students will have pre-loaded courses. In order to begin selecting courses, you will need to click on Course Search. When you reach this screen, enter any part of the title of the course that you wish to register for and press the Go button to get a list of the course titles that match your search request. In this example on the screen, the student is looking for World History. Typing in History will bring you to all history classes. Here you will see all the results of the courses that have the word History in it. You can click on the course from the results that you wish to register for to view the course description. If this is the course that you wish to register for, you must click the button to request this course. Important! If the course number ends in an A, you must also register for the same course that ends in a B. Courses with an A and B means that it is a one credit or full year course. You cannot register for only A or B part of this course. The course number ends in a lowercase c. That means it is a one semester or half a credit class and you only need to register for that one class. An uppercase C in the course number indicates the capstone course. Remember, for year-long capstone courses, choose both the A and the B in the course numbers. After choosing the requested course button, it will now show up in the requested course area, as seen on the screen. Continue to repeat these steps until you have requested all the courses that you wish to register for. Keep in mind that you will need to register for seven credits. Decide you do not want to take a course that you have selected in the requested area. You can click on that course and press the Drop This Request button. In addition to your requested courses, you will need to register for two credits of alternate courses. These courses can be done in one of the following ways. 1. Choose four different half-credit courses. 2. Choose two different half-credit courses and one full one-credit course. Or 3. Choose two different 1.0 credit courses. Please remember when choosing electives that there is a possibility that you will have one of these courses in your schedule next year. It is important that you will choose a class that you will want to take. If you end up on one of your alternative classes, it will be very difficult to drop next year. Please select wisely. To request one of your alternate courses, choose the Request as an Alternate button at the bottom of your screen. To determine if you have requested the number of correct courses to complete your registration, count the number of course requests on the left. Your total requests, when you count the required course box and the requested course box, should be 16. You can double check that you have registered for 16 courses by looking at the numbers next to the word units. It should read 16 out of 16. You should have a total of 4 requests in the alternative course box. When you have completed the registration process, when you have a total of 20 course requests. In the example above, this student has requested two courses, Biology A and Biology B. Remember, you must request both A and B of a class. If the course number ends in a lowercase c, you will only need to register for that course. When you have your 20 total requests, please log off. Your requests will be automatically saved. 